from AP. Um, how much were you guys able to get out and transition the way you wanted to based on how you were able to play defense and get stops? And, and also, just seeing Steph get in a groove in the second half, what did that mean to you guys? I mean, you know, it was the transition definitely, you know, was a, you know, a direct effect from our defense. You know, we got stops, getting the ball off the rim and able to push the ball is much different than, you know, trying to take the ball out of the play. You look at game two, we was taking the ball out a lot and we got nothing in transition. So, you know, we understand that, you know, when we're getting stops, that's when we're at our best. Uh, you're coming down, you're playing against a set defense every time it's tough. So, you know, a way to combat that is to get stops on the defense lane, and we did that tonight. And, um, you know, Steph definitely got it going. Uh, I think it was very important for him to get to the basket. You know, once he started getting to the basket, then all of a sudden the threes opened up and they started to fall. But he got to the basket first. And, you know, they've been kind of pressuring him, trying to force him to drive the entire series. He, you know, he took those lanes tonight and they opened the floor for him. Uh, Draymond Connor, the Toronto San Francisco Chronicle. After a tough game two, what did it mean to you to not only come out and win the game, but do so? In a, in, a, in a dominant fashion. How encouraging was that? Uh, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's one win. It doesn't matter if you win by 40 or if you win by one. Um, but to respond that way, uh, you know, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of what we've grown to expect. You know, when we, you know, get, get beat up pretty good, we kind of had that appropriate fears. We always speak up. We, you know, we play a little better. So uh, that was important tonight. You know, I think we felt a little threatened, and, you know, we came out and showed that. Uh, it's important going in the game four that we approach with that same mentality. Uh, it's not the mentality that we're up to one. You know, we got to go on, you know, almost feeling like we're down to one. You know, we're able to get one in Houston. So now, you know, the way to protect that is come out in game four. You know, John's blazing, trying to take care of business. Monty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area, so you're right over here. Um, in the middle of the first quarter on, it looked like you guys just turned it up tighter and tighter on defense. I don't know what you guys did the last three days, but it looked like there's a lot of study, a lot of uh, preparation going into this. Based on what we saw, how much of this was effort? How much of it was scouting tendencies, all of those things? I mean, how did you guys manage to lock them down like you did? Oh, well, you know, we got a great coaching staff that always puts us in a position to be successful, uh, the best position they can. And then, you know, it, it boils down to just manning up and guarding your man. You know, you get on the ISO with James Harden, you got to man up and guard him. Chris Paul, you got to man up and guard him. And then also trying to take everybody else away. Uh, you know, game two, I think, Ariza had 19, P.J. Tucker had 22, Eric Gordon had 27. You're not going to win like that. Uh, you know, so just understanding that, you know, they're a very good team, very great, a great offense. Um, they're going to score, but you got to make those buckets tough. There was no resistance on in game two. You know, we we showed some resistance tonight, and you know that led to you know the offense that we were able to produce out there on the floor. Draymond, uh, Dan Wecky with the Los Angeles Times. You've seen it throughout your career, Steph, in this building. Well, what is it about the relationship he has with fans where it seems like they want him to score so badly, and and what's it like to be on the court when that kind of explosion happens? But you know, you know um, I've seen those explosions happen here everywhere. You know, it's not just here. Nonetheless, uh, you know, definitely get a lot of support from the fans. Uh, you know, his his three is similar to some people's dunk. You know, you go to certain arenas and a uh, guy get a dunk and it's just absurd. That's how his three ball is. Um, you know, but definitely a lot of support. To, you know, the fans were great tonight. You know, I was. I think he had a great quarter there in that third quarter, but I don't mean to disappoint. But I've seen crazier from him. <laughs> it was good to see. <laughs> Draymond Joe Musso, CBS Sacramento. The 16 straight at home now. Is that a streak that you guys are aware of? Is that something that um, you guys think about before the game, and not just for staff, but for the entire team? What are you able to do in this building that might be harder elsewhere? Oh well, I, I don't. You know, I, that's honestly the first time I've heard of that. Um, so it's not something that we talk about because each game, you know, it takes on a life of its own. You can't go into a game like, yeah, man, we won 16 straight or 15, whatever it was. We're good. Uh, you got to come out, you know, with a great focus level, um, with a great intensity level. And then your crowd's allowed to get in there and then they can help you. Um, and I think our crowd did a great job of that. Uh, but it's not something that we really speak of. Each, each game, you got to approach it a little differently. 
And um, what was your second question? Yes. What can you guys accomplish in this building that might be harder elsewhere? Oh, um, I mean, I think we've been pretty good everywhere we've played. Uh, nonetheless, everything's always better at home. Uh, you know, you, your fans get into it. Still nothing better than quiet in the, pros, in the opposing crowd. Uh, but you know, everything's a little better at home for sure. Two more questions for Draymond. Draymond, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. When you watch Steph, you know, who is sort of the, the focus of all the coverage all week about his shots broken, he can't hit a three, is he healthy? And then he comes out and he does to James Harden and Chris Paul what they were doing to him the last two games, just abusing them. What do you say about his mental and his physical toughness? Very mentally tough. Um, I think that's what makes him more than anything. You know, uh, his physical toughness is definitely underrated. You know, he's one of the most competitive people I've ever been around. Uh, you know, but his, his mental toughness, you know, you can't be that great of a scorer or great of a shooter um, without mental toughness because you're always going to face obstacles when it comes to shooting. You know, he's always the next, next shot mentality. Um, and, you know, that was big tonight. I think he started on one for six or one for seven for three, and then he was able to get it going. So, you know, kudos to him. Um, you know, that's something that's kind of been the key to his career is mental toughness. He didn't come in with everyone saying Steph Curry would be who he is today. You know, uh, everybody questioned who he'd be. So um, that's one of his strengths for sure. That's it. Great. Thank you. Thank you.